Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you another art journal, one page art journal uh, creation. And this time I do have on my table these three beautiful images from my old books. The scan of these images uh, you can find again on that um, yeah, buy me a coffee website, but it's again for free. So don't be afraid to click on the link in the description below and download that image uh, if you like to work uh, with art journaling. And if you like those images, there is uh, already a few of these sheets with plenty of these beautiful, gorgeous vintage images. I do love them so much. So today I choose these three beautiful people beautiful drawings and uh, actually the color scheme for my drawings will be with the red color i have no idea where from i took this red shade here and on my envelope i do have prepared already both of these if you want to know how i made this one the link will be down below for previous videos where you can see the, the process how i made this this uh, like base and I'm gonna start, uh, I think, uh, I'm gonna take first some stencil and do some stenciling. And today I do have here this beautiful stencil. It's again from Studio Light. I do love this stencil very much. The number will be uh, in the description box below uh, if you are interested in this stencil. And I'm gonna do some stenciling. So I do have here my white acrylic gesso and we will start to do some stenciling. I really like those bubbles now and I do have as a background paper again that uh, printed, pre-printed paper and that design you can find also on the buy me a coffee website. So I'm gonna do some stenciling on my paper and also on my envelope I think. To kind of match it together yeah and here we moved Ooh. so I do have dry my gesso and I do have here my mixtures <laughs> the colors I mixed and I do have here also this red one but it's kind of like very red I will see I will start with those softer colors and I will spray here and then and we'll see how much colorful it will get. I'm kind of happy I make my mixes because it's getting to, you know, getting me to use those sprays I had and I haven't used before. Oh, come on, lay down. Poof. So I'm gonna dry it again, I guess. Lay down. Oh, that's nice colors, I have to say. I, I'm really glad I did my mixtures. So my painting is dry. I had to take that acetate piece off from here to make sure I can use my heating tool. And now I'm wiping off the paint that spray from my uh, gesso from that stenciling. And because I'm using that wet wipe, I will have to dry it again. So I do have here my dry page and I'm gonna take a book page I think from here and pencil and draw mm -mm -mm. draw a curtain or blinder Okay, okay. And I'm gonna cut it off. And I'm gonna use my white acrylic uh, marker. This is Posca, Posca pen. And with that marker, I'm gonna draw the line around.
yeah, like this. And I'm gonna flip it over and do same on opposite side. And here it will be probably from this point, like this. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more visible. I'm gonna try different, different pen. I've got here also these gel pens. Uh, Signo, Uniball Signo, and they are sometimes much, much better to use. So I'm gonna give it a try, which one will be better. I think here it's similar. So I do have this, I've got here white acrylic paint, and it's mixed with water already, so it should work. I'm gonna give it a try. If is it not still true? No, it will be okay. It's just a very light coat. And I'm gonna cover with this the a area like inside of those waves here and here. Well I totally forgot <laughs> forgot to paint it right. So we are going from this point up okay <laughs> i somehow forget those folds behind so from that fold here we are going up and with slight painting we are easily paint all that rest oh my <laughs> you know when i switched off my camera and started to paint that other side i was like oh i'm missing something why <laughs> But the dimension. <laughs> so don't be afraid. Do with your light white mix to paint from the fold up. Okay? That way. We will create nice, beautiful 3D effect. And I will have to go one more time with my pen all over. To make sure I can see those folds. Just bear with me. Here I need to add a little bit more. So don't forget <laughs> to go... Uh, you know, these are like uh, behind those folds, these are up front folds, these are behind folds. So don't forget to go up with your brush, up with your brush, like this. I'm gonna wipe my color a little bit. And I do have really very light, I'm gonna show you. Here is my color, good. So really very light and go up. That will give you those back shades. Here I'm gonna put a little bit more. And this one, it's somehow struggling. I think those colors underneath, they just don't wanna be covered with the white painting. They want it to be seen. And again, here, go up with your brush, up, up, like this, and kind of disappear those smushes. And then take a little bit more of that white. I hope it will go well with this brush. And here. Go up with a little bit darker. I mean a little bit more rich white. So from those folds, 
with the richer white go up maybe okay I'm gonna let it dry and use my gel pen on those edges so I let it dry and I went uh, again with like a circle motion one small sing circle next to another one all the way in those uh, like base lines of my curt curtain or blind <laughs> I'm sorry I have no idea how to say it right curtains I think it's called I've got here oh uh, this is acrylic uh, it's like a iridescent iridescent like sil silver silver tone uh, acrylic medium and I do have here my black acrylic paint And I will try to do some soft shading, like really soft one. I'm gonna spray my water here, and this should be very, very soft shading. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water on my brush. I'm gonna prepare napkin if I will need to clean my brush. A little bit of black paint, a little bit of that iridescent, that silver one, and it has to be very soft, really very soft. And I hope with this iridescent color, it will be also, um, you know, the way I need it very soft and kind of like a little bit sparkle but not too much and I will try to do my best who uh, maybe first before I will do my shading I'm gonna protect my coloring right now I'm gonna take my bindex and protect my page dry it again and after that I will do that shading because this bindex will give me that protection that top coat and if I will be not happy of my shading with this black and iridescent color, I can always wipe it off. So first I'm gonna do coat with this, kind of protect what I do have already here, dry it off. Okay, I think it's dry enough, so I'm gonna go back to my painting palette. I'm gonna take a little bit of the water kind of try it again if we are still on yes we are and now whoa okay I'm gonna give it try a little bit of shade here but really just a small amount and if there will be too much I can always wipe it off and I think I need to take wet wipe just in case I'm gonna mess up like this okay come again <laughs> water and a little bit of my painting this should be so, so soft Just like this, very soft. I hope you can see. And many times and very soft. And up. And we are creating beautiful curtains. So take your time, do not rush if you want to create beautiful soft shade. Yep, this way. 
very softly. Mm. Ah, here. Okay. Like this. All right. I think here is done. Now the other side. I'm gonna flip my brush, you know, before I went this way. So now I'm gonna go this way and very softly. You know, this wet wipe is also helping me to, to keep my brush a little bit wet, but not too much. And just relax. And where there will be too much, well, wipe it off. You can use your napkin or just with finger. And I think I just wiped off <laughs> my painting here. So then I will take my gel pen again. And one more time, I will create the edges. So I think I do have my background page ready and I'm going to move to my people and I'm going to gonna color the faces and the hands and then for the clothes I'm, I'm thinking to use these sharpies and this one not sure yet I kind of can decide uh, what kind of color of those dresses I want to use So I do have my cute images and um, I'm going to start to somehow place them on my on my paper. But before I will do so, I don't want to have them just, you know, stand in the air. So I'm thinking to place here, washi tape and do kind of steps. Okay, I'm going to take a brush and glue my beautiful people I'm kind of happy how they did turn out so first I'm gonna glue this lady and she's gonna be somewhere here glue her down now this guy and he's gonna be somewhere here okay and his friend a little bit far yeah just like this and maybe here I can put a little bit more oh nice day see look now I'm gonna put one more coat and here is how my little pink and peachy small mini journal looks like i have finished that uh, those last few steps that uh, shading and put the quote of the camera because that was just a few steps so this is how it looks like here we do have a quote <laughs> and i really like that quote <laughs> so this is how it looks like easy spread and i love that uh, curtain or blinder I'm not sure how you call these soft ones in, in behind and all those beautiful vintage images. So this is my sharing for today. I hope you had a good time. I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Have a wonderful day. Take care about yourself and I will see you soon. Bye.